Flexi Rod Set Time featuring Sultanicals. Now I'm going to be using two types of Flexi Rods and I'm going to be using the horseshoe method made popular by Curl Days. As a styler, I will be using the Can't Believe It's Not Butter made with coconut milk and Jamaican black castor oil. Now, I do prefer a thicker consistency as a styler, but we're going to make do. As my leave-in, I'm going to be using their Not Sauce Coil Detangling. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to be starting this style on stretched out old hair, and it's also dry. So lightly misting my hair with water because water equals moisture. And I'm going to be using the Not Sauce as my leave-in. My whole plan was to section my hair off and use the styler as my um well as a styler however after the first run through i noticed something so you're gonna see me here lightly detangling my hair with the cone i'm gonna go in between the cone and the felicia Litherwood brush that right there was the styler but as i was putting it on i noticed something this is why i was on the fence with reviewing this product um the consistency is off. When I first opened it up and tested it out, I noticed some type of beads. I don't know if this is some type of like buildup. I don't know if this is gonna show up on cam. It has some type of grains or something. I don't know if that's gonna show up on cam. Do you see how, and I'm trying to smooth it in and it's not, it, it's not disappearing. I'm not gonna use this product. Um, and you can still see how some of it is still on my hair. You see that? So, I'm allowing my hair to dry a little bit, and look. See this? See that? <laughs> All right, so instead we are gonna be using the Meal Twisting Souffle and a little bit of the main choice gel. I'm over it, you guys. I'm gonna apply a little bit of water and see if I can work this section out. So going ahead and with each section lightly misting my hair, yeah, I'm still mad there. <laughs> yeah, I was actually pretty upset because these products are fairly pricey. So um, yeah, going ahead and using the harsh shoot method. You know, this method was a little bit, a little bit difficult at first, but I got the hang of it. You're not gonna see me set my entire hair, making sure that the ends are smooth. But there are several things that I ran into with this particular style you guys first of all the products did not work and i did not set my hair long enough i had set a pole a couple of days before and i ended up trying to dry my hair the same day big mistake with my thickness density hair type never want to do that so i ended up with about 10 to 12 i can't remember exactly about 12 uh flexi rods and here i am a couple of hours now I allowed my hair to air dry for two hours then I used a blow dryer excuse me for one and a half hours but it was not dry about three to four sections were still wet on the side here you're gonna see in a minute yes yeah, see this is still damp the side here in a minute oh it was wet and I was fit to be tired girl you see that you can even see it I was a little upset to say the least but I had somewhere to go this night we were going out to eat and I had to you know go ahead and take down the flexi rods and manage to do something however with all this being said this style turned out beautiful i was actually i've seen pictures of 4c chicks that have this defined textured look and i had no idea how they achieved that look i'm pretty sure that it wasn't from a failed flexi rod but i was overall okay with the end results so yeah, I'm going to continue to take out the flexi rods and I'm going to make do with the mistakes that has happened in between the product and the style itself not drying properly. So yes, lesson learned girl, lesson learned. So this is the first for me where the product and the style did not work. I should have listened to my instincts and slept in the flexi rods. One and a half hours not even close like this side was wet still so i'm still going to show you how i'm going to slay this style i'm not unraveling excuse me i'm not separating at all that would be a disaster
So I ended up taking a blow dryer to my hair because there's just no way. And later on that night, I had no other choice but to two strand twist my hair or it would throw out. So I'm gonna show you guys what the back looks like, okay? All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this failed style. She's the slept in, girl. All right, thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.